Hi friends, this video shows how to fetch all JIT branches. So here I am going to do one fresh clone. Okay, done. Let me go to that folder, then run JIT branch. You can see the master branch here. So when you do a fresh clone, actually it create a local branch named master and that master actually point to the remote master so if you run JIT branch with the hyphen R option it show all remote branches so these are the remote branches and right now there is no local branch which point to these remote branches but there is one local branch named master and that master is pointing to this remote master branch so if you run jit branch with the hyphen a option actually it show both local and remote branches you can see local branch here and all the remote branches you can confirm it just uh, create a new branch bm b1 then run jit branch it show b1 but if you run jit branch with the hyphen r option it will not show b1 you run it with the hyphen a option it show both local and remote branches so there is another command called jit fetch so what it will do is so we already seen that uh, we run this command, we execute this command to clone the repository, JIT clone. So when you run JIT clone, in that time it actually fetch all the branches from the remote repository. So after, suppose after that somebody created a new branch, somebody created a new remote branch. So how do you get that new branch in your system? So that is the use of JIT fetch command. So when you run the JIT fetch command, fetch command, actually it fetch the newly added remote branches. So that is the use of JIT fetch. So that way you will get the newly added remote branch in your system. So you can create a local branch and point to that branch. You can run JIT branch or JIT branch with the hyphen hyphen all option, both are same. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe my channel. Please like and share the video.